And the Run Iron Mountain Half Marathon returns for its 11th year next weekend. Event organizers look to Dickinson County youth to get the race up and running. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Blake Ryerson shares how one volunteer gave the race a fresh new look. This is the new logo Paige Sabota designed for the Run Iron Mountain Half Marathon. She was a student in Rebecca Freitas Communications and Graphic Design class at the Dickinson Iron ISD Tech Center last year. Sabota says it took less than an hour to put together a winning design for race director Sarah Percolosi. The day that Sarah Percolosi came there, I had a couple ideas in mind and I had them on there, but. When she got there, I didn't like them, so I changed them super fast. Freitas' class is designed to teach high school students effective visual communication skills. Run Iron Mountain is one of many community nonprofits Freitas will partner with for class projects. It is really important for them to start to communicate with the community, and for some of these students, just to talk to somebody is pretty intimidating, so it becomes a really good experience for them. Students at the Tech Center designed and printed these yellow shirts which will be worn at next weekend's event. Percolosi says volunteer spots are still available. Volunteer options start on Thursday night. So even if you're a runner, you can come down and volunteer with us. Thursday is volunteer packet pickup. Friday, we start seeing our participants come in to get their packets. And then Saturday morning, of course, we have a ton of opportunities for people. Currently, 242 racers are registered. Percolosi says the 250th racer will get their registration paid for. The race on Saturday, September 23rd, starts in downtown Iron Mountain across the street from the Dickinson County Library. Blake Ryerson, TV6 News, Iron Mountain. Thank you, Blake.